Hi everybody, Adam here with eTrailer. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Yakima HD roof rack system on our 2020 Ram 1500. So this is going to be a great addition to you guys' Ram just because we're going to be able to use the top of the truck along with the bed of our truck. So we're going to be able to get even more goods on the top of our cab here just to maybe free up some space on the inside of the cab for some of our passengers. We have a bunch of different accessories and the nice thing is we can use the wraparound accessories but also we're going to be able to use the t-slot accessories as well. We have stuff ranging from kayak carriers, fishing rod carriers to bike carriers and also just a roof mounted basket if you guys are going on a long trip and you have a bed full of stuff. And the reason why I chose the HD bars is just because we can actually put these on the bed. It is sold separately. It's just a adapter kit for the rails of your bed. And we're gonna be able to use them not only on the roof, but if we purchase those separately, we can throw it on the bed of our truck as well. I really love the look of the bars too, and they are extremely sturdy. But on the roof, we are only gonna have about 165 pounds of weight capacity. So be sure to check your guys' owner's manual. Make sure that our roof of the truck is gonna be able to handle all of that weight. It is made of aluminum, has a nice powder coated finish, so it is gonna resist against rust and corrosion over time. So it's gonna look just as good as it does now over time. Unlike most bars, we actually aren't gonna have to remove the end cap to put on our T slot accessories. The cap up top has a little channel here so we don't have to remove it, which is awesome. And we're all we're gonna have to do is just trim back this rubber piece here just to make room for whatever attachment we are gonna be putting it on. But the nice thing about it is if you guys are just using wraparound accessories and you plan on keeping this weather strip in there, that is just gonna help it from whistling whenever you guys are going down the road. So that air is not gonna really get trapped in that little T-slot. So it's gonna be quieter down the road compared to some that don't have this little strip up top here. Another thing that sets it apart is these tie down points on the ends of our caps. So those are gonna be great just for tying everything down. So you don't really have to worry about wrapping any type of strap up and around our bars, which we can do, but luckily this cap is extremely functional and we can go ahead and use that as a tie down as well. If I was to tell you guys what I would recommend buying with this kit is obviously just getting the adapters for the bed of your truck, just because I saw a couple Rams that had the HD bars in the bed and it looked really cool. But also we do have a optional locking core that we could put on the end cap of our towers here, just so it's gonna give us peace of mind so if you guys are traveling quite a bit, or if you guys go to like parks and bring your bikes with all your friends and you just don't want any of your cool gear on top of your Ram to get stolen, I would definitely recommend grabbing some locking cores, but they are sold separately. And we really aren't adding a whole lot of height to our Ram here, but just so you guys know, from the top of our roof to the top of the bar, it's gonna be about four and a half inches. So now all we really need to go over is just the installation process. So we're just gonna go ahead and show you guys how. So the first thing that we wanna do, if you guys haven't already, is take your bar. We're gonna to have to remove our end caps. I'm using the HD bars here. And all we really need to do is take our tool and undo one simple bolt at the end just to take off that cap so we can get our towers into place. Now with the end cap off of our bar, we can start assembling our feet. First, we wanna take our little plastic piece here. You see how there's like little ribs here? And it kind of lines up with the ribs down inside our tower. We're gonna to kind of line those up and push it into place. You'll hear it snap, which is awesome. So then we're gonna go ahead and take our metal T here, kind of just put it on that screw but what we're gonna have to do to tighten it down is pull open this little gate right here, all the way open. And that is going to reveal a little bolt down in here. And that's what we're gonna do to get that metal piece threaded in. We don't wanna tighten it at all. All we want to do is tighten it enough to where it is gonna be flush 
with our plastic piece here that we put in before it. And once we have that done, we can go ahead and grab our bar again. And we really only have to take off one of these end caps for the HD bars. It might be different for your guys' bars, but this is just the way I like to do it. And since I am going to put this one on the other side, I'm going to put it in, looks as if I'm doing it backwards, but we're going to slide it in there. If you guys are struggling to get it to fit, you guys can go ahead and loosen it a little bit, that same bolt that we were tightening earlier. And that's just going to expand that gap that we need for it to fit into our T-slot. You can take it and start sliding it throughout the track. And I put this one in backwards just because I'm planning on sliding it all the way down to the other end of the bar. And then we can go ahead and do that same exact thing for our other tower. Now we can go ahead and put our feet on there. And we just want to make sure that the arrow is going to be facing towards the outside of our bar. Put our end cap back on our bars. And now, we're ready to put it on a roof. So now that we are putting our bars up, it wouldn't be a bad idea to take a look at the instructions and they are going to let you know how far we're supposed to space these apart and also the measurements between the two different towers. So check those out. We have everything as it's supposed to be here. So now we can go ahead and continue. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna flip this little gate open and then we're gonna go ahead and take our little clip here and slide it into this little slot here. Now that we have everything nice and tight, we can go ahead and close this little gate here. And then we can go ahead and put on our end cap. We're gonna start just by putting these little hooks on first and then snapping the top in. We can do that same exact thing for the other side. Well, everyone, that just about does it for a look at the Yakima HD roof rack system on our 2020 Ram 1500.